Ukraine's allies said the move represents a substantial escalation in its two-and-a-half-year-old conflict, as they formally accused well, Iran of supplying short-range ballistic missiles to Russia to use in the war. Dozens of Russian military personnel have been trained in Iran to use the FATA-360 close-range ballistic missile system, which has a maximum range of 75 miles. Russia has now received shipments of these ballistic missiles and will likely use them within weeks in Ukraine. We've been sharing intelligence behind these findings with our allies and partners and working together to ensure that there will be significant economic consequences for Tehran's actions. France, the UK and Germany issued a joint statement calling the missile transfers a direct threat to European security and said they would also impose sanctions on Tehran. The White House said these will include restrictions to Iran air commercial flights between European cities and Iran. Tehran began denying the accusations on Monday. We strongly reject the claims of Iran's role in exporting arms to one side of the war. With the foreign ministry spokesman on Tuesday calling it lies and propaganda to cover up the armed support of some Western countries to Israel. The Kremlin said Monday that it was developing dialogue with Iran in all areas. Till now, Iranian military support for Moscow has been limited mainly to unmanned Shahed attack drones, which are slower than ballistic missiles, so easier to shoot down and carry a fraction of the explosives. For its part, Ukraine described sanctions against Iran as a positive step, while arguing that it should now be allowed to conduct strikes deeper into Russian territory.